sit in their tails? There's loads of them, isn't there? Well, there's no scrapping before. But what are they doing there in that bloody... There's something in there, isn't there? Yeah. I wonder if the nest has fell in or something. It's got the right light for your filming, isn't it? Definitely. Look what they're doing. You see one? Yeah, we can see it going then. Went, went up the flue. Something going off, There's isn't something there? Something in there, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so this is the oldest part, I think, of the. Well, just going off the dates, I think. Is that church there in the grounds? It's not in the grounds, no. Oh. Must be where the old service is though, mustn't it? And then... Love to go inside there. I'm going to have a look in a minute and see if any doors are open. There he is. All the spaces are loaded. Still see it though, can't you? I think he's, his sword used to go down there. Yeah, it looks like they took it off or something, doesn't it? it used to go down there. Oh, someone broke it off. It's, been broken off yeah. it's tight, isn't it? Who is he? Lieutenant John Sutcliffe. Something Chesterfield, Oldham. It's all worn, ain't it? To yeah. shame that. Probably needs picking out with gold like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that the Elsie Sutcliffe, Hannah Sutcliffe, that must be. Same Maybe family, the... in it? Because it's within these borders. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, he's obviously, that's spelled first World War, that. And he always got his foot on a bomb lock. Yeah, he has. Never noticed that before. I expected them to be older graves here for some reason, but. God, it's cold today. Should I walk up here and then walk back down? John Lees. DL, George Henry Buckley died at 44. <coughs> Another one here, look. Private William Carr. Manchester Regiment. Presumed to have died. Buried in throughout Belgium, it oh, buried, uh, buried at throughout. There'll be a lot of wild graves up here, won't there? Well, From that I era, presumed to have died. Well, they buried them. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> I thought he was fucking dead. <laughs> Bloody hell. Do you reckon there's a way into that building? Yeah, well, I think people have been trying to get in. That's why they've got to board it up. Yeah. <coughs> Still going out there. They're all flocking round there. Something's going on with that chimney flute because they're still up there. Yeah, Looking them two it. at the top. Yeah. Not much up here, is there? It's 
a big stone here though, look at this one. <coughs> Taylor. Must have had a bit of money these people to have these big monuments, I mean. Well, yeah, because in the open spaces over there where there aren't any <coughs> stone, it's definitely a graveyard. Because when you're walking along, you, you can feel it. You can feel the sunken where the <coughs> where the coffins have collapsed oh and the earth has gone in. So you know there's somebody buried there, but they can't afford to have put a stone on it. Because they do cost a like, Imagine how much these monuments. Oh cost. my god! Yeah, fortunes. Oh, that's a lovely grave. Look at that one there with that cherub on top of it. Yeah. I mean, people say, oh, it's, it's morbid looking through these, but this is the whole purpose of a headstone. Well, look, it, it's for someone to look at, and you know the, what I mean? Yeah, and this is what I've said. I've said, well, what's the point? In, you know, that's what the yeah. headstones are there for, for you to come and exactly, look at them. Exactly that, so. it's, it's... Why have they spent all that money having, like you say, those cherubs and, uh, or a, a, a statue if nobody bothers looking at it? Exactly. <coughs> it's a bramble bush there, look. Yeah. I bet it's, you know, obviously there's no leaves on the trees now, is it? Because it's that bloody cold, but um, I bet this area the, in the summer, I bet it's stunning in this area. Yeah, yeah. These trees are gorgeous, aren't they? I used to bring Millie up here. You know, she, she, she loved it. Just running round? Just running round, yeah. <coughs> Never been up this end of the of the cemetery before. See, like all, all, all that area. Yeah. Do you reckon that's got the, 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 burials? The, yeah, of course they have. There's a look at there's a lone wog stone there. And I bet the um, is it did the war office pay for? Would the, sorry, not the war office. Would the government have paid for the headstones? Because they're all typical them soldier ones, aren't they? They're all the same. It's the war great um, war. British War Graves Commission. So that's why that, so oh, he could have been buried here, but they've put that in, sort of. Yeah, and they are tasked with the upkeep of them, you know, like mowing the, oh. and making sure they're in, in good order. Royal North Lanks Regiment, August 8, 1918, bloody hell, 100 years ago. You know, it's crazy, that, isn't it? And you think about it, hundred years. Yeah, that's a couple of months to go before the end of the war. What that fella? Ended in November, didn't it? Yeah. There's a few like that. Um on that other video I did. When I came up with my mum. And there was one, literally, I think I think he died the month the war finished. Yeah. Literally just, you know, almost saw it out and then one's still being taken care of that one look 1986 1955 <coughs> right oh is that what they they leave yeah and um We've noticed that quite a few of them around here. And, and what, just stones? No, stones and, and little, little. I'll, I'll see if there's any more. But I looked into it. And it's so, something to do with like, um, not witchcraft, but like, like paganism. You know, like to, to sprites and paganism for what? It, it, I don't like offerings and things. Yeah, yeah. It, but, why would you come in a churchyard and start doing pagan um, yeah, rituals? Or... Yeah, there's another one there. Oh, there's another one, yeah. Oh, was it the, the foot of trees? That's a beautiful tree. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about the coffin.
so we thought we'd just come and walk around see what's what some gorgeous stones up there at this end look at this oh, spectacular yeah. Mary Ann, the second and beloved wife of James Hardcastle, who died April 25th, 1879. She was 56. Have you seen that stone, Simon? Yeah. Isn't it fantastic, that? <sighs> you find another one? No. What, oh, I should what, have brought my bloody gloves. What I'll show you. Um, well, it's not in this section. It's, it's over there, but it's... Um, there's a couple of gravestones and commemorating the dead of the American Civil War. Oh, right. What were they doing in an Oldham Cemetery? I don't know. I think I've seen that before, though. Who died fighting in the American why Civil would they, War? Why would Oldhamers go and fight in Civil well, War? Or unless they're Oldhamers who went to live in America and they've well, what, recognised them. Either? No, what I'm saying is, well, is it? Yeah, but you said it's a stone to commemorate. Yeah, well, there's two. I, I'm not. I can't work out whether. The, if they might be oldemers that have moved over there <coughs> and then died over there, and it's family. I can't work out whether um, they're actually buried there or it's just like a commemoration stone. Oh, we'll go and have a look at it. Where is it? Down here? Uh, no, it's, it's over the other side. You're not going to bury something next to a bleeding tree, are they? No. You wouldn't have thought so. Have you seen the... It's got an unusual name. Annette and Hara. Pauline Dudik and Michael Dudik. I think it's like a Polish grave or something. Well, yeah, there was um, a big Ukrainian, Polish... Ukrainian There was, community. yeah, because there's that Ukrainian club in Oldham, isn't there still? Yeah, there is. And the... Not, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and isn't there um there's a church in there near Tesco's? You definitely look at this side. Same stone. Russian. We'll have to see if Amy can tell us what that says. Assuming it's the same language, of course, but... Yeah, they speak Russian, don't they, Ukrainians? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, man. Look at hell. Kristina Dimitrenko. 1965. Look, someone's, look at it, she died in 1965, someone's come up. They're still looking after it, aren't they? Yeah. Probably, you know, in the summer you come back, won't you, and sort it out. <sighs> See, these really old ones, someone's still got a connection with it. Cause yeah, they're, they're still coming. Leaving flowers and things. I think we need to get a movement going, adopt a grave, you know, where uh, you encourage people to come out and adopt a grave for someone and look after it. Because these these old ones, you know, like, the, these people, I mean, potentially we, we could be walking past one of our ancestors' graves and wouldn't know anything about it. It could be one of these in one of these things. You, you just wouldn't know, would you? Did you ever show you that one? <coughs> um, about those that were killed on, in the... Yeah, I did that in the last one. Flying bomb. Yeah. Flying bomb. Bouncing like bomb. Like a doodle bomb. There's another one there. Look. It's this. You, you can you can recognise them because of this. The odd shaped cross. Yeah. yeah. Slanted. You can't even read that. A lot of it is that is actually in English, though.
<coughs> I don't know really, whether somebody's just repurposed that wreath. After <coughs> Christmas, I thought, well, instead of throwing it away, looks like it, doesn't it? Just stick it on a grave somewhere. Potentially. Maybe they come and change it for the seasons. They've specially made that, aren't they, to go on? I'll tell you what, if Ken Wu was up here, he'd have that away. Well, of course he would. Stashed away for next year. Definitely. <laughs> come, come in handy, that fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't need it, do they? Yeah, exactly. That's what he'd say. May as well help ourselves. So that's, that's, that's his motto, isn't it?